Well, let's call the City of Ocean Shores Library Board of Trustees meeting for Wednesday, June 14th, 2023, to order. Uh, approval of the meeting agenda. I, I second it. Keitha, do you have anything for the agenda? Yes, I do. Sorry, I've got 3,000 things going on today. Just a little. I was really just talking about that. Yes, we were. <laughs> I would like to, I'm sorry, they're cleaning the chairs because they've been out, um, plastic chairs, they've been outside all year and they're green. No, yeah, no, <laughs> so no, we've got no. volunteers out there that are going to pressure wash the chairs because Fridays are big pickup. Okay. I would like to amend the agenda to add an item for a fact sheet piece under new business, please. Okay. Ah. So with that, uh, fact sheet, yes. Okay. So uh, with that amendment, can I have another approval of the agenda? I move to uh, approve the agenda as, as amended. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. We have an agenda. Uh, public communication, do we have? Uh, anyone on Zoom? Or did you receive anything? So I did not receive any, and we do not have any participants on Zoom. Okay, so no public communication. Uh, approval of the minutes. So I, I, made, oh, sorry. Oh, I made a big mistake on it. I left an extra paragraph in there. I'm away, uh, aware that the uh, celebration for May was not Cinco de Mayo, but May Day. Um, I will come back. So that so the little would be so the little yeah, so that little thing there Cinco de yeah. that's yeah that's yeah, what you're talking about okay yeah. okay that's I actually saying. thought it was Cinco de Mayo because it's my birthday <laughs> well then she forgot to put your birthday yeah she <laughs> she's yeah. saying Denise's birthday <laughs> should we tell her how old no no don't do that <laughs> Marguerite's for everybody <laughs> <laughs> whatever the celebration. Uh, okay, any other changes to the, the minutes? Okay, approval. Ooh. I second it. Okay, we have approved the minutes for the Library Board of Trustees meeting on May 10th, 2023, uh, as corrected. Ethan. Yay. Library director's report, and we have a lot of show and tell today. I did amazing. a lot of this in um, um, last night. We set Michelle and I sat at IGA for two hours at the entrance promoting this, which is the next three months at your library. And we have summer reading, we have adult summer reading. First time it's been a full blown summer reading program. We have children's summer reading, and we have teen summer reading. And the theme for all of them is find your voice. And is what, so, is what? find your voice. Oh, find your voice. Oh, wow. okay. And so the kids are getting a bag with some bookmark and a little pencil inside. And the bookmark is find your voice. And a pencil that says find your voice. And then they have the little booklet and they read get to the page here. They read five books or 60 minutes, and then they color in the creature. And there's eight creatures, and they get a prize, a really cool prize too, not just junk, but really cool. Little Hot Wheel cars okay. and all sorts of fun stuff. And each of Nico's creatures has a voice. So this is really, really cool. And then he embellishes it with some fun things on the back. And then the front page, that's all the kids' programs we're having this summer. Oh Two gosh. full pages. Wow. Yeah. This is amazing. He does. He does. He does. Yeah, and he, he really loves does. it. And we, I wrote a grant and we received $3,000 from Save the Children. And so we used Save the Children logo on here. And to um, accommodate their grant requirements, we have to keep track of how many books or pages the kids read. So they have a sign up sheet, a registration form, and then they, um, Turn that in and then I keep track. And when they turn it in, they have a little parrot, find your voice, they put your name on it, and it goes on the bulletin board. Oh, cool. 
And they're all different color parrots in here. So that's the kid. We had a little, couple little girls like, yay, hi, yesterday. I want this. I want this. And take it off the table. I want it. I want it. And then for the teen, we have the, the read, return, repeat bag. And she has um, a bookmark in it. And it's a different one. It's a whale. Find your voice. Mm -hmm. And a smarty can because she thinks her fleets are smart. <laughs> and then um, they read and turn in a form, and then they um, get a prize. And on August 11th, they have a finale party where they're entered into drawing for prizes. And they, Michelle, has received $2,300 from local businesses in prizes to date and she still has three more coming wow. 2300 dollars they're fabulous they're things you can highly love just love them so and then she lists all the businesses on the flyer that have given us stuff and they know we're coming and they are just so generous and then she has one big program besides the finale party and it's going to be in july and it's a murder mystery night and remember all of this funded by the Friends of the Library. Not one penny comes out of the library budget. And then we have the adult. And the adult is doing a bingo card. So they sign up and they get this bag and they get their bingo card and they can either read across or down or fill up the whole thing. And after they do whatever, they can do one card. They turn it in by uh, beginning of August and they're going to get $5 in book bucks for this room. Mm -hmm. or for the book sale where they can use five dollars to get books and then their card will go into a drawing for four twenty-five dollar amazon gift card and if they do a blackout they call it i've never done bingo but if they do the whole thing they enter a drawing for a fifty dollar huh? amazon gift card and then they can list on the back what they've done and it's things like read a book of poetry read christmas in july Attend a library summer reading event. Um, check out a cookbook and cook something. So just fun stuff like that. And then this is the little bag the adults get. And they have a poem in here. And some of you heard me read this at the friends meeting, but it's um, Find Your Voice. And it's I've Got a Voice to Speak My Mind, to Spread Ideas, to Choose to Be Kind. I've Got a Voice to create something new, to tell a story, to share my point of view. I've got a voice to paint a scene, build a bridge, or to keep my world clean. I've got a voice to lead a crowd, play a game, or sing out loud. So they get this poem in their find a voice bag, along with their flyer. And on this page, those are all the adult programs for this summer. Wow. Seven in July, four in June, and four in August. Mm -hmm. And some are for all ages, some are for teens and adults, some have registration. Anyway, it's all on the flyer. Yesterday, we set up the table out there. It'll be set up permanently. We are now starting to register everybody and to go along with the kids because you know, I mean, I'm just such a straight-laced librarian. I had to do this because of the find your point. <laughs> so each adult is giving a kazoo as well as a candy. So can yeah. you sign up for that today? Yes, you may. <laughs> <laughs> and to kick this all off, and these flyers are for you to take and take all over town. I would like you to give them to at least five people. Right? Just spread the word. We're having an ice cream social, free ice cream Friday from one to four. One to four. This Friday? This Friday. Ooh. You know, it doesn't say that one. Anyway, friends are providing IGA ice cream. IGA is donating the ice cream. And as a zillion toppings, Mary Jo's just going crazy. And then at two o'clock is going to be a kickoff for the kids summer reading program with magician Jeff Evans, but it's really family oriented. And then we're having a Quinault storyteller, Harvest Moon, who a lot of people know, and I guess she's quite good at storytelling. 
and it's a family program as well, and that's going to be at three. I'm coming to that. That sounds really interesting. I heard she is. Uh, we were at the store, and, and some guy walked by and goes, oh, I know Harvest Moon. She's wonderful. You're really going to like that. You know, so mm -hmm. I thought that was good. So Jeff's at two. Harvest Moon is at three. So come have some free ice cream, pick up some flyers, and then let me see if I have anything else. The Friends are having a book sale, which whoever's reporting on the Friends, are you doing that, Alan? You can talk. Okay, you can tell them. Oh, I have to um, tell you the June flyer is up here as well and has everything on it. The other programs for the kids for June besides Jeff are Leaping Louie, which is a Western comedy show with rope time. Yeah. And then Professor Finkelstein, who's one of my favorite people. He's just fabulous. And then we always have our DVD collection. Oh, Nick's doing an Android phone basics. And he's got seven people already signed up for this. Am I? I didn't know you had to sign up. I want to do that. Do that because okay. we only have um, okay. we have ahead. twelve spots, but okay. yeah, we can do that. That's um, next Wednesday, first day of summer at nine thirty. And he's got programs lined up for computer classes for every month, so they're they're pretty well received. Um, Nico's doing a different program this summer called Art Sparks, and we're not doing the extravaganza. We're going to save that for the school year. And it's basically take watercolors and create abstract animal art and do your own thing. So that's for elementary age kids. Dungeons and Dragons, we've been in it a month now. It's going fabulous. 20, 25 people each Friday night out here, all ages, in and up. But it's been it's been really, really good. And again, all of the support materials, all everything you see, the ink cartridges and friends of the library are funding this whole thing. And then Whenever I do my talks each month, I have to do the DVD talks. And this is written by a wonderful volunteer for me. The theme this month's DVDs that we have on display in the section is Outer Space. We have 57 titles from 1950 to 2019. We have two series titles called Star Trek Discovery and Firefly. And here's your three questions. Are you ready? All right, movie person. <laughs> not, 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 not my genre. Um, what phase, what phrase, sorry, is used to wish a Jedi good fortune? May the force be with you. <laughs> what phrase does the Vulcan use to wish good fortune? Live well and prosper. Yep. <laughs> and she wrote down, she wrote on my she bonus points if they can do the hand gesture that goes with <laughs> Okay, last one. What film is this quote from? Who said it? And what did Dave want? Oh. I'm sorry, Dave. I don't have deep enough words. 2001. Yeah. <laughs> open the car, open the pod door. Yeah. And say, yeah. yep. Al 9000 is refusing to open the pod doors to let Dave get back into the show. Isn't that fun? I, I look forward to everything every month. <laughs> That's so great. You gotta have that perfect. <laughs> That's all, man. That's uh, all. Well, I don't know. You're slip. You're really slipping. Really, a lot of stuff. Yeah, a, a tremendous amount of work, Keith. Thank you to you and all of the staff. I mean, it it really is just pulling it all together. Not just the programs, but then all of the materials that go with it. Yep. We start, we start the summer reading at the beginning of February. Yeah. I make them start thinking about it. We actually changed themes this year. We usually go with a national theme that a lot of public libraries use, and it was just not workable. And so we went with another company's theme and the Find Your Voice, and we're, we're loving it. It just fits perfect. So, yeah, take a, a gander at our, our um, table out there. It turned out really cute. And um, the bulletin board for the adults. Excuse me, Louise did that, and it's just adorable, has bingo card on. And then I also, I'm sorry, I was done, madam. <laughs> um, the um, umbrellas for the pavilion are installed and ready to rock and roll on Friday. So oh, cool. you might want to take a walk out there yeah. after the meeting. Okay, Keith, anything on the statistics that you want to um, call attention to? You gave us the nice statistics. I noticed that was uh, eons ago. Yes. Yeah. Nothing. No, we're we're cruising right along. I still am very excited that our door counts are creeping up, and we're getting back to pre-COVID, where I can say thirty people uh, an hour coming through the door. Um, this time we had door count. We had 
20. It's up to 26. Yeah. So yeah. the door counter is working again. Yeah. yeah. They finally fixed it. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was going to be one of my questions. Yeah. No. That's why. But they could not get me April's back to fill in. So April is unknown. So, but yeah, 26. So yeah, it's creeping up. 30 was what we did consistently before COVID. And you think of those little doors in that little space and 30 people yeah. in an hour. That's a lot. That's a classroom. <laughs> yeah. Kids, you know, so we have to, now, especially since Timberline is thinking of closing the amount of park libraries. They so. are closing. Oh, they, they are closing. Are closing. Yeah, they are closing. They're going to physically move it and take it away. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. There's been a big hullabaloo about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so glad that we have the library local and it is made to too. Local. I hope we never go into the point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, having had to close a library, mm -hmm. it's you know very difficult when you look at the taxpayers across the all of the counties that they serve and trying to justify serving the, the well I think the problem with Amanda team. Park, there's nothing in Amanda Park right. except that library. Mm -hmm. And that should have been taken into consideration, I would think. I mean, it's such a sad little community. Is this half of those that I could take them and put them out on the table at council? Yes, you can. Because they're that's like a ton that and mm -hmm. everybody's grandkids come, it mm -hmm. seems, and mm -hmm. that probably be a lot of useful you, information. You can, you can take all these handouts because I can grab one. Okay. Yep, I would love it. Okay, thank thank you. you. Yes, we need we need to get the word out. I mean, I can toot my own horn for just a second. I have uh, the exhibit out Ooh, there about the uh, yeah. upper upper June's Trail, mm -hmm. and it just happened that the upper June's Trail is going to be opening this Friday. Well, opening, but oh, ribbon okay. cutting. Ribbon cutting. Oh, so, uh, yeah, if you can make celebrate it, I think it's great. Dial at one o'clock today. Friday. Oh, Friday. They're having that's it's going to be a huge event. Yeah, yeah, Everything's yeah. happening on Friday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> nice okay, to see you. Can that's when ice cream starts. <laughs> you, can go, you can go over there, participate in that because that's real important and it's mm -hmm. real special. It's taken years to get this. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, John and company have made it happen. And so support that and then come for ice cream and the programs. Okay. So. Nice. Good work. Yes, Alex. Sorry. It, we're it's, really, it's, it's the trail that's the exciting thing. Yeah. And also, the, not that this has anything to do with the library, but the uh, Vietnam Veterans Wall is starting this week over at the casino, which I'm really anxious to have a look at. 11 o'clock today, they should be driving down the point down. Oh, oh, they are today? Okay. Okay. And then you'll Before hear. they take it to over to They're the going to go here and then down that first road that goes over to the boulevard. Oh. And then back yeah. around again. Yeah. But yeah. I just sit yeah. and out. Yeah. What time? Round 11. Oh, round 11. Yeah, which mm -hmm. should be right yeah. when we're getting out. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll right. be able to hear them from what I was told. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So coming like the motorcycles and all sorts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to catch a glance. Okay. Uh, I went and saw it the last time. It was there. It's really moving. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. Okay. Any other questions for Keepa and the director's report? Okay, on to old business. Uh, Susan, we have you down for June 26th of yep. the City Council. Uh -huh. And we are looking for someone for July 24th. I can do it. Okay, thank you, Jane. Okay, under new business, we have an uh, added agenda item. Right, I wanted um, to have Susan mention something that we talked about on the phone um, to all of you. You want to go ahead and mention oh, that now? Do, is this about the fact sheet then? No, it's about the statistics. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, I'm uh, sorry, I should have mentioned that when we did the thing. Um, just maybe starting some quarterly reports, maybe from Keitha about the, um, now that the strap plan is all in place and everything like that, it would be nice for the board to get quarterly reports about finances, just, you know, right. how the budget is going, little check-ins on the budget every quarter. Um, I guess she used to do that before COVID hit, and, right. and now that the strap plan is all taken care of, I thought it would be a nice 
thing to do. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You know, give you an idea. Yeah, Keitha did used to do that before the, the right. COVID. It's so I think, I think it's a good idea to read. Yeah, something. I'll give you a quarterly and reflect on the strap plan and where we are financially. I can tell you right now that we are exactly to the 10th, 10, 2% under where if I spent the exact same amount of money to spend the money for the whole two years, we would be. So we're 2% under. And I do that on purpose because um, window breaks, something happens, you just never know. I like that cushion until the middle of the second year and then I'll spend it. But yeah, I keep it in there. So exactly 2%. Okay. And I'll have something for you. I don't know which maybe I'll work it out. Yeah, be glad to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And before we move on to our reports, um, uh, I still have another item under oh, okay. oh, yeah. under new, um, business. new business. Oh, okay. Um, it's come to my attention that it's time for the library to step up, promote, advocate what we do in this town. And I would like the um, library board to stand behind a fact sheet, an information sheet on kind of focusing on why the library should stay in the general fund. And I'm hoping that Denise and Susan would work with me on that sure, and get it started. And, um, and then that the rest of you will help distribute, promote, advocate that piece. What do you think? Well, I feel yeah. like I'm already doing that, but amongst the groups that I belong to, I'm always okay. pushing the library and how we Good. have to have it. So I'm more than happy to continue doing that for sure. Okay, thank you. And, and that is, if you look at uh, the responsibilities of the board, that is part of our responsibilities mm -hmm. is to advocate for the library. Yeah. And then okay. we'll have a fact sheet to go with it. Yeah. Right. So that'll yeah. Be Right, it'd be nice to have something to just hand out. This is how the, this is how it's funded. This is all the the right. good you do the services, services yeah. and everything. Yeah. The general and the, the impact or the number of patrons. I think that's something that's um, that people don't understand how many people use the library. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, the, you'll notice the meeting room use statistics of the number of meetings in here is staying consistently in the high seventies, low eighties. Consistently, it probably can't go much higher than that, right? It's oh, yes, it can. Can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's hard, well, it's it's hard to get in this room. I it is, it. it's yeah. pretty well booked constantly. Yeah, yeah. I fight people. <laughs> <laughs> so, Susan and Denise, could you talk to me a bit after mm -hmm. sure. our board meeting? Thank mm -hmm. you, and thanks for doing that. Sure, that's all I have, Denise. All right. Okay, Allison, I'm not sure if you're uh, li listening now or if you've had some interruptions. Uh, are there any questions that you have for us or anything you'd like to add? I I love all the programs you're doing this summer, Keith. Oh, that is going to be amazing for the kids and the adults. Mm -hmm. So some great stuff planned. Okay. And, I love, and I like the idea you're going to have the fact sheet because I'm always talking about the library and I know there's um, talk about the library again. And so I like the fact that we'll have those fact sheets because I'd like some of those that we can have the information to give to people because they really do need to know how many people are impacted by that library. And it is the majority of the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, well, we will certainly keep you informed. Thank you, Allison. Thank you. And thank you for your support and your attendance. Uh, friends at the library, Alex. So um, just seeing what the Friends of the Library has been supporting, which is quite a lot. Uh, the only thing that I think I could add is that the book sale was very successful. And it was so successful, in fact, that they're planning another book sale <laughs> on July Third and fourth. Oh, I see. That's great. Yeah, that's really good. And um, we're funding a lot of good stuff. Um, I think the ice cream uh, event is going to be particularly delicious. And <laughs> I think we need more ice cream socials. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a hot dog social. Oh, a hot dog social. And we're having a watermelon social. Uh, a hot dog is in July. 
Watermelon is in August. Okay. And I've heard, I'm not sure, Nico might be doing a seed spitting. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's coming. <laughs> this all sparked after Santa was such a success in December. The friends, like three of them, just said, we've got to do more of this. We've got to do more of this. Mm -hmm. And so we came up with a calendar of events. And the last time the friends had hot dogs here, they were the best hot dogs ever. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, I agree. <laughs> and I agree. they're U.S. Foods hot dogs, and we found an access point to get those. So, yeah, really good. <laughs> and it's very nice because different people in the friends are stepping up to kind of be in charge and get volunteers for that event. And I understand for Friday's Ice Cream Social, we have new members that haven't participated in the friends. Are coming to help with the event, which just tickles me to no end. Yeah, that's so we're getting that's new true. people in. Yeah. So yeah, they have over a hundred members. Well, that's it for my report. Okay, uh, Library Foundation. Uh, we met on uh, May twenty fourth, and uh, I think the um, we went over uh, the the foundation members are still. Um, actively looking for grants. Uh, as Keitha mentioned, the Sunshade project is complete. Everything is installed. So go ahead and do take a look. Uh, it was a, a substantial contribution by the foundation to do that. Uh, we had, for a very short period of time, we had the seven members that we had been increased to from five. Uh, and uh, one of them has had to resign. She had a, a change in her work schedule and is simply unable to attend the meeting. So we do have one opening on the foundation. Have you uh, filled that yet? I have no applicants at this point in time. Okay, so again, if you do know someone who would like to uh, help with the library foundation, they fund uh, while the Friends Fund these projects, the Foundation funds the amazing big projects like this meeting room and uh, the expansion, um, as well as the, the shades out there. The next project that they're toying, if they haven't quite adopted yet, is to put a reader board and a lit sign in our parkway. And I have two bids on it, and so we're oh, yes. possibly... I want it to look like CMAR, you know, something that just stands out. So if you don't turn your head and see that it says library on the building, you know there's a library there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but they're not 100% sure on that yet. They're working on it, but that's maybe coming. Uh, so I think that's about it. Um, we're looking for an additional member and uh, officer elections will be in July. Um, next month, um, we have John listed. I don't know if he's still going to come to the foundation. I think oh, he is as of right now. It's on his calendar. Okay. And then, um, and then we have, uh, Miles, uh, our broker coming the following. Mm -hmm. So I think that's uh, about it for the foundation. Do you have anything else to add? No, Jennifer? it's, it's so wonderful to work with two 501c3s that are, doing and accomplishing and positive work. Yeah, and the new members of the foundation really do have a lot of energy. So uh, it's it's wonderful to see that uh, transition and bringing new people in. Like Keitha said, we're bringing new people into the Friends and uh, having new people on the foundation, uh, the more advocates we have for the library and the more we have willing to raise money for the library. Mm -hmm. To provide those extra things that we couldn't do otherwise. Who are the members currently? Uh, as a matter of fact, I wrote them down. <laughs> so, uh, Stacy Steele is vice president. Kathy Baker is secretary. Vicki Cummings, one of the newer members, uh, has agreed to take on treasurer because the former treasurer has moved out of Ocean Shores. She was able to get a another job. So she moved out of Ocean Shores. Uh, Lynn Urbina, Vicki Lanciano, and Linda Rust. So those are the members. Thank you. And Perry Stern, um, she was the attorney who was on for a short period of time 
who uh, could not make the, the meetings. Thank you. So Stacy's the president, right? She's acting. the vice president. Right, right now, she's yeah. acting. Yeah, right now, she's acting. acting. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, the board public comment to the council. Um, thank you so much, Sarah, for giving us more than three minutes <laughs> because I took about five minutes to go through <laughs> partially what Keitha did. Uh, I covered the June programs, and I said, Susan, that you would be hearing more about July. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, I, I covered the you know fundamentals that we did have the three summer reading programs, and then mostly I went into the the details of what we are uh, we're having in this this month. Uh -huh. And uh, it was the longest I ever gave. It was about five minutes. But uh, it was, you know, impossible to get it in all of the things going on in the library. Right. Just the the basic overview of it, which is a wonderful, wonderful problem to have, Keitha. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, you can write one on ten. Who's <laughs> <laughs> pinpoint July? I don't know how to do that. And then I'll introduce the thing. I will tell you all about it. Sam, <laughs> talking for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it is, you know, I think it's important for them to hear over and, and over all of the things the library is, is doing, mm -hmm. you know, including that we're having three programs to hit all ages. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's, how's, how's Anne coming? It's coming. Is it? Yeah, we're almost ready to launch. Really? We changed, we changed some major things. They fired some people. They hired some new oh. people. It's been a circus. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's just about there. Okay, good. I'm so excited. Yeah, we've got it. Um, I have to test some stuff. I'm going to have Nick work with me and walk through it. Because do you think I'll be able to say anything about it? Um, we're planning a huge um, push off in September. September. That, that's yeah. That, 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 I want to. I want to yeah. run it kind of dry run first yeah, yeah. and see how it goes. Uh -huh. See if the monies I've allocated are real. You know, it's very complicated. Yeah. And it, it's complicated on my end with the business part of it, the money part of it. Right. So, but yeah, it's coming. So Nick for his um, computer class in September is going to highlight it. Okay. And so we thought we'd do your piece. Summer reading will be over. Gives us something fun in the fall yeah. to talk yeah. about. Well, oh, I forgot to tell you. Sorry. Anyway, no, canopy's, canopy's coming. Okay. So yeah, plus tie it up with school, back to school stuff. Right. So, so yeah, so okay. shoot for September. Virtual reality. The what? friends that those little yeah. I know nothing. Believe me, I know nothing. This those little things you Denise has done it and you put on your head and then you get car sick because you're flying airplanes yeah. and yeah. 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 the friends gave the no, library forty five hundred dollars to buy the equipment, which is quite pricey. Yeah. And oh. to run a monthly program for virtual reality. And we're gonna hit all ages. But as I was telling them, and that's going to start in September as well, because I'm looking for September booms. Um, the other thing we're going to have in September that's going to be a boom is an author fair, which is going to be huge. Oh. So September, we're not slowing down, folks. So, author fair? Author, 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 author fair. fair. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got a stack <laughs> like this of people that are local authors that oh, are going to come. So we'll have Canopy, we'll have the author fair, and we'll have virtual reality. And I came back and told Nick yesterday morning, I said, they they kind of, he gave me this really wonderful proposal and he had the gold, the silver, and the, oh, do I really want it? And they went for the gold and gave him $4,500. And they also said, if you want to add another 4,500, if it's popular, they'll do that. And one of the um, visions that I mentioned to them that somebody told me, because I've never done it, they said they can't walk on the beach anymore. It was a senior citizen. And he said, I got to walk on the beach and the sand again. Uh, and yeah. that, I mean, that to me just pulls your heart straight. Yeah, right. So, right. And, well, you know, other things, you know. Yeah. Well, for the disabled, too. That's really right. Cool. And then, you know, even things for teens, but it's not all teens, you know, mm -hmm. game programs. It, and we're going to kind of focus it. Um, the mayor also has a senior outreach initiative going on, and we're hoping to tie it into that somewhere down the road. Mm -hmm. So, so that's in September as well. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. And Nick was just like, "Oh, good." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, my grandsons have it. So for the, the faint of heart like me who actually don't want an ice pick, I climbed Everest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And you really do get that sensation. Of, yeah. You know, looking down and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's freaky. It yeah. really is freaky. So. Uh, Okay. Lots of fun stuff. Okay. Is there anything else for the good of the order? Okay. Our upcoming meeting is July twelfth at ten a.m. Uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Seconded. Anyone opposed? <laughs> okay, <laughs> we are adjourned. Huh?